Uh, pretty sore, yeah. It was um, it was a tough battle against, I suppose, a quality outfit. Um, you know, up front, I kind of think where where it was won and really showed a kind of a an inst a statement of intent, um, keeping them out on the on their own try line a couple of times in the game. So, um, came down to the wire really in the end, and it was really good good to get the the win on the road and something like that's their first loss there in over I think 15 months. So really should put down a marker in our camp but um you know it's it's nothing until you back it up again this week so um you know it's going to be a massive week for us quite it's a short kind of turnaround um but I think we're really excited to get back home especially getting into the Viva and a packed out of Viva it's it's um there's no better feeling playing here uh potentially I think um I think they're probably eager to get back out and and try and uh, turn things their way but if you look at last year, I think Bordeaux travelled to Sandy Park and beat them, and then the week after they went over to Bordeaux and turned the the result around. So you know we need to be ready for for what's coming. So um, I think it's going to be a really exciting game. Looking forward to getting back out with the lads on the pitch and, and getting ready to to put in some hard work for for the weekend. But um, no, um, everything's everyone's good. Um, injury wise, I think, but uh, could be a couple couple of knocks and bangs. But um, you know, in, in the backs, I think everyone's good. Um, it was it was fairly fairly low key after the game, but everyone was really delighted um, with the with the win, and I think the the home support that I travelled over as well um, was great, and really thankful for for the fans for for making the effort to come to what was a freeze in Sandy Park. As I mentioned, I think it put down kind of a marker for us in and outside the camp to to show that we, you know, were. We're we're putting everything in into into Europe this year, and you know we want to go one step further than we did last year. And um, you know, obviously for a lot of us in in the squad, last year the disappointment of last year in the semi final, the loss to to Claremont away, it still kind of is vivid in our minds. So I think we used that going into into crunch games, and we used that to drive us on and and to to hope we we achieve our goals and, and go on a step further.